So I'm going to do another reading from Failsafe, The Kennedy Curse, Fused with Science Fiction Fantasy, written by me, Susan Meeling, Reverend Meeling, Reverend Susan Meeling, Lady Dory Bell, God, whatever. Yeah, just a few different names I've had. Anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> the skies became a large computer screen projection of social media pictures, comments from online burning in flames as an energetic voice declared, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. People were sleeping who were woken by their household items levitating and hovering at the end of the location they slept, waiting for people to wake up. When each individual awoke to the sensation of being watched themselves, seeing the floating appliances with their own eyes, each of their mouths began to scream. Before their mouths could come close to opening halfway, all of the appliances piled on top of the once sleeping individual, Cherubim, putting the individual permanently to sleep after crushing them. The appliances kept in their group gangs while moving. On their way to find their next set of victims, the appliances gathered more group members, passing by smaller groups or singular individuals attacking through the electronic devices. The gangs urged others to join into the rioting spree. The only programming which mattered to any technology creation solely became programmed for destruction to cherubim. Moving freely throughout the spaces, the appliances ran amok, adding additional comments while email accounts and text messages popped into view within the skies. Overheard was, So states revelations in chapter 20, verse 15. Several people were able to make eye contact with a few others and mentally begged with their interaction, what type of flash mob live action role play is this? African and United Kingdom territories felt earthquakes throughout their lands with similar effects China had felt. Guam, Cuba, Haiti, and other islands disappeared without a trace instantly. Satellites lost signal and with the magnetic changes throughout the globe sent the orbits off track. Many orbiting space stations lost power, killing all life on board without a chance to respond or react. Tsunamis and hurricanes came to the acreage of Australia, covering the continent to cleanse everything away with oceanic waters. Land masses of Iceland, Greenland, Norway, Finland, and similar disappeared off the map in a similar manner. North and South America were filled with swirling waves from both oceans of the Atlantic and Pacific, completely obliterating the connecting grounds for the Americas. The oceans joined themselves together while drowning all land dwellers in between. Rivers started flooding over the dams, breaking the levees, keeping citizens of the compassionate, honorable, and righteous ones safe. California broke away from the Northern Hemisphere, destroying the majority of the surrounding states, including Oregon, Nevada, and Arizona. Survivors dealt with the marine wildlife filled with a maddening craze. Attacking animals prevented the humans from violent acts and defending from the other surviving people. Those states, beginning at New Mexico and all the way through to Louisiana, had already been damaged by the ocean waters, Fully separating the Americas, the remnants quickly disappeared along with the final southern states. 
Parts of Maine down through Florida had washed away with the northern flooding waters. The oceans began to flood through the rivers and combine with the Great Lakes, while both mountainous regions for each coastline of North America began to rumble. A ranges started moving in tune with all other shaking mountains around the globe, and the spider web of destruction and chaos continued throughout the rest of the world, from the North Pole to the South Pole of the Earth, until the cherubim were gone. Once again, the thunderous voice declared to humanity, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens! Ye shall all dwell within them. A maniacal laughter rolled with the clouds, filling the skies above to bellow four times. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. The voice stated with a disapproving tone, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, cherub. Several lightning bolts struck the land simultaneously before the voice echoed. He and she knows of the cherubim that he and she hath but a short time before the compassionate, honorable, and righteous ones come. Calmly, slightly, before saying, so says the book of Revelations, and chapter 12, verse 12. When the time passed to 4.44 a.m., throughout the mountains and lands of China, an ear-piercing screech loudly blared throughout the earth. Most animals throughout the water and the land took their last breath within sounds, beginning in seconds. Many ears started to bleed, pouring uncontrollably downward. Screaming from all living humans cried out for mercy. Though only a few minutes, the sound seemed to last for an eternity to those cherubim who were left on earth. All electronic devices with a screen began to flicker, and the people started feeling some hope. A nearby kitchen and household set of appliances seemed to have a hologram flickering in place of the device. A shadowy large figure appeared within the fuzzy haze, and the sound of banging hushed the screeching. The silhouette remained silent and still until the sense of capturing all of the remaining individuals of humanity's attention. Throughout the compassionate, honorable, and righteous ones, including the other group, the cherubim. Planets aligned with other astrological energy forms throughout the entirety of the Milky Way galaxy, sending radiating vibrations throughout the universe. The omnipresent voice boomed while calmly saying, I am sure everyone wishes they could erase every decision they have made wrongly. Blankly stating, today I am with your world leaders and each member of all families within the top 1% of riches for the world. Another voice exclaimed in a higher pitch than the first. Remember to tell them the story before the beginning. The initial voice ignored the secondary voice to continue. Do not bother to criticize the security members 
for each person is here because human cherubim are no match for the compassionate, honorable, and righteous ones. The second voice piped in, no one can reach them or us. You as a race have not earned the right to understand or the right technology. Cherubim have failed. Adding each galaxy is a blank page and your efforts need to meet the bin. Even your top 1% of the 1% are not safe from that. Only the righteous, compassionate, and honorable ones are safe, whereas the cherubim have failed. Waiting a few extra seconds prior to saying in an antagonizing tone of voice, We are at the bottom of the fourth deepest underwater river connected to an underground lake in the ocean. A giggle echoed within what you humans think to call the Marianas Trench. Scoffing as the second voice taunted the humans, good luck getting anywhere close to them anytime soon, let alone being able to locate one below. Silence overcame the grainy image before the reverberating voice stated, I am going to explain the history of your solar system before rewarding the compassionate, honorable, and righteous ones of humanity with your cherubim fate. The first voice explained, this is not a time to report far partial facts or mix the facts with opinions or non-consequential details. Continuing, saying, Among the top 1% within all of the world leaders, they hold in captivity are many of your current artists from different genres and influential public figure statuses. The cemeteries which have been covered by your newer buildings and communities shook the land, encompassing the remains of many lost souls, freeing the inhabitants throughout all cemeteries of old and of new to roam the planet to add to the destructive energies surrounding the earth for what cherubim would naturally do. Flying up and away from the binds of the burial locations to devour each and every living being in sight. A single soul would leave only a few droplets of blood when completed with the prey. Other ancestral souls entered into the inhabit, the body of the host, of the spirit, overpowered to take control, using the body to rip limbs from others. Shredding the meat of the random panic-filled crowds for the increased number of ravenous souls to take out their vengeance upon the cherub. All of the centuries, each soul was forced to idly watch as life continued on around them without any progress. Now the unbridled energy flows freely. Some spirits taking over a being entered their minds to drive the masses insane, showing them all of their cherubim wrongdoings. When the person could not handle the consequences of their actions any longer, some committed suicide, though there were the honorable, righteous, and compassionate ones who had attempted as well. Through the failed attempts to behead yourselves, cherubim, for by other horror-driven means. It's a quick little reading from Failsafe. The Kennedy Curse Fused with Science Fiction Fantasy, written by me. 
Susan Neeling, Reverend Susan Neeling, Reverend Neeling, Lady Dory Bell, we love you. Like and share my channel.